a self-improved man has leverage. He has leverage in his life. He is able to have options. Unlike most men nowadays in modern society, no offense, that feel like they can't do it any better than what they than the first thing that they get, right? See, women already have this innately in their head that they could always do better. You know, we hear about hypergamy, right? We hear about that word hypergamy, pretty much meaning the chick has it in her head that, hey, I could do better than this. You dig what I'm saying? Well, get yeah, what? A self-improved man has something equivalent to that, okay? So before I get into it and tell you how, you already know what the business is, man. What it do, what the business is. This is Terry Talks. I'm Terry, and I'm going to be talking my stuff, okay? So like, comment, subscribe for more men's health, dating, and fitness discussions. So when you get yourself together, when you get yourself to the best possible man that you could be, right? When you got your passion down, when you have a passion, whether it be skateboarding, whether it be uh, lifting, that's my shit. That's I, I, You already know me. Yeah, when I talk about the gym, I get passionate. That's something that you get passionate about. Whether arithmetic is your passion, you know, whether uh, golf, whatever your passion is, you, you have to be immersed in that. When you get to the best of it, practice makes perfect. Doing your passion every single day, being obsessed with it is what's going to get you there to the where you want to be, to the mountaintop, right? That's why I'm being consistent with these videos. You have to be cons consistency beats perfection, right? Meaning even if you're not perfect at something, consistency will get you to that point and it beats out perfection every time because you're going to get big. You're going to be forced to get better. Okay. So a man that's, that's uh, invested in, in himself and, and his passion and his abilities, and he strives to be the best in it. He strives to get great at it. You know, a man that stays in shape, a man that's, that it takes care of his body. This is extremely important. Your body is your temple. You take care of that. You take care of your hygiene. You take care of your cleanliness, your clothes. When you step out, you're always, you always look presentable. You tell the world, hey, look, I respect myself, right? When you get yourself to the best possible man that you could be, this is when you have leverage in life. And see, I know what some guys think because I got little snarky comments before in my comment section. Dudes talking about, oh, you always talk about women and, and all that stuff and how to get them. No one cares. See, that's what's wrong with y'all. First of all, you're watching the men's self-improvement videos for men that because at some point you are going to want to attract a young lady, right? Every man, that's natural. There is nothing beta about wanting a woman. See, that's that weirdo stuff that some of these red pillars be talking about. I promise. One time, the the the, the time that I kind of stopped following red pillars is one of them said talking to a chick is beta. How is talking to another human being beta? That was the most ridiculous. Just I was like, I'm I'm done. I'm never gonna stop talking to beautiful young ladies. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all got me messed up. You feel me? Especially when I when like I said, you got yourself improved. When you got when you got yourself looking good. If you don't talk to them, they show finna talk to you. Yeah, I bet I bet I bet those dudes talking that never really had that experience before. That's why they be sounding so angry. Talking about oh, if you if you even look at a chick, you're beta. Come on, man. Y'all are tripping, tripping. The only thing that's beta is when you try to shoot your shot at a young lady. She turn you down. And you keep going like, oh, why are you trying to be like that, mama? You know, you, you don't got to do me like that. Come on, girl. Let me get your number. That's beta, that's beta as hell. That's what's beta as hell. Beta. I hate using that word, but y'all get what I mean. But other than that, man, talking to a young lady, exchanging thoughts, you feel me? Exchanging pleasantries, vibing out. I love doing that. And I be having fun. All right? So that's that. That's that. Kill, kill all that other noise. All right? But... What those dudes don't understand is when I tell you guys to self-improve, and I'm still self-improving myself, guys. I'm not no perfect uh, alpha male, you know what I'm saying? Just perfect, perfect uh, prototype of what a man is. I'm still improving my damn self. I got a long ways to go. We're all on this journey together. But what I'm saying is the more you improve yourself, the more you're going to have options, the more you're going to have leverage, the more you're, you're not willing to put up with BS, 
right? All these games that some young ladies try to play. Young ladies, you know, you be trying to play games, right? Don't even, don't, don't even go there. You know, just stringing dudes along, trying to make them talk on the phone and avoiding meeting up in person and stuff. Been there, done that, right? But as a man with self-improvement, a man that, that carries himself in a respectable manner, and you know you're looking good. You know you know you could get something else. You know you're deeply immersed in your passion and you're going somewhere in life. You know you could easily leave those chicks that are playing games alone, right? Those chicks that play games, and not all of them, because there's some some young ladies that are cool, you know what I'm saying, that are, that are very pleasant to be around. But the ones that play games, let me tell you something, fellas, those chicks have low self-esteem, and they, they're, they're too far gone, right? All these chicks that want men's validation 24-7 and string guys along and all that, those chicks have low self-esteem. You don't want them anyway. In the same token, though, the men that deal with those type of women, you know, it's a reflection. They have low self-esteem themselves. They're going to keep chasing a chick because in their head, they have no options they, you know, they know they don't look as good as they need to be. They know their gym usage is not where it needs to be. They know their body is not where it needs to be, or at least they're not progressing. You know, because some of my guys, not all, not all of us are are freaking bodybuilders and just Adonis shaped men, right? But even if you are on the road to progression, right? Even if you're constantly in the gym and you're not all there yet, even then, when you start doing that, you start having a little more self respect. You start being like, man, I'm hitting the gym heavy. You feel me? I'm disciplined. Pardon me. I mean a little better. You know, I don't have to deal with this BS. I'm better than this. You start truly feeling like you better than 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 the BS. You know, you're not going to deal with women playing games with you, trying to string you along, trying to force you to take you out, take her out to a fancy restaurant. And you don't know this young lady from Adam and Eve, Right. You feel me? Then when you have start having options, when you start having respect in yourself, you could tell her, hey, look, we could walk in the park. You feel what I'm saying? We could get get a drink or two at, at a at a little bar. You dig? Don't have to be nothing fancy. And yes, fellas, I, I take young ladies out to bars. I get them a drink or two. I don't care. Some of y'all say it's beta. But hey, <laughs> at the end of the night, uh, the results say otherwise, right? But the point is, I'm not spending the st uh, money on a steak and lobster dinner, okay? You want to have you want to have at least a little fun, right? Because some guys take chicks straight home, and I do that. I do that sometimes too. But it's just you feel me. I like to have fun. I like to be out. I'm I'm a I like I'm outgoing. I like to be out out and about. I don't like being in the crib, right? So I might as well enjoy that company with a young lady. Then at the end of the night, we go home. And we do what we need to do. You feel me? And even if you're not on that tip, you need to be self-improving. But my point is, if you're self-improved and you have respect for yourself, if she try to force you to go somewhere that you don't want to go, like let's say she wants she want to go to Ruth Chris, and you know good goddamn well you don't want to go to no damn Ruth Chris and spend all that damn money. If you don't have any options, bro, if if you don't have any self-improvement, if you don't feel feel like you're confident within yourself, you're going to be like, okay, because you're hoping to, you know, score at the end of the night. Let's just be honest. But a man that respect himself, he's like, baby, nah, we could go take a little walk in the park. I got something to sip. I got a bottle. I'll give you a cup. I'll have a cup and we could just walk around and sip and just conversate. Or we can, you know what I'm saying? Go get a drink or two, hit the nightlife. You feel me? But if you don't want to do that, I, I'm out. I got options because I know that I look good, you know what I'm saying, and I got stuff going on for me. So I don't have to deal with someone trying to jerk me around. This goes for men too. You don't you don't deal with men with other dudes disrespecting you and trying to jerk you around, right? So called friends that be throwing <clears throat> low key shots and shit at you. You got self respect. You're not gonna hang around with them folk, okay? So anyway, with that being said, man, get on your grind, man. We're all improving. I'm on a journey with y'all, so let me know what y'all think in the comment section for the algorithm. Love y'all. Peace.